This is a Canadian kid here. Today we're going to be less, doing Lesson 9, Forging for Noobs. The Infinity Money Glitch. Um, basically, what you want to do, you want to start out a bit like canvas up on the map, uh, have nothing on there. Whether you make it right away or you already had a preset one, whatever, it all works. As you can see, I'm just flipping through. There's nothing left in my inventory. So what we're going to do, we're going to spawn one of every item. So, fusion coil, box, container, open container, single container, single container open, ramp, bridge, and barrier, wall, the clear type of wall, a corner. Uh, watchtower, little shield energy doors, weapon holder, yeah, there you go, and, and power cores and all that. What you probably want to do when making a map though, don't do what I'm doing and just tossing it randomly in the middle. What you want to do is you want to kind of stash everything, just say outside the map, hidden off to the side on top of the map, somewhere out of the way, so when you're forging, they won't be in the way. Right now, I'm just showing you a demonstration, so I'm just putting it in the middle and not wasting your time with stashing it somewhere. As you can see right now, I'm tossing all the weapons on there just randomly. Do to do to do. And almost got all the weapons. Now we're going to do some vehicles. Stack the vehicles on top of each other, see how high we can pile them. Scorpion, Wraith, Warthog, Chopper, Banshee, yeah crap they fell, whatever. Hornet, Prowler, Ghost, Mongoose. There you go, now we're going to work on the equipment. Okay, now that we pretty much got everything on there except for a few little things, I'm going to show you something important to do. These are with the effects. I'm just checking all these. When placing an effect, what you want to do is put it place at start, respawn time 180. That means when you start up the rounds, they won't show up for 180 seconds, allowing you to pretty much edit it and do all those other stuff before all those filters come on. There we go. And yes, with all the filters on and the low def TV or low def capture card, the whole screen looks completely white and you can't see crap. There we go. So now what you want to do is go to each item, push X to them once, and change the runtime maximum to two. That means even if there's only one on the map, you're allowed to spawn up to two. You do that for every item. As you can see, I'm whipping through all of them right now. And as you can see, all my money is slowly disappearing, even though I'm not spawning anything. What's going to happen is I'm going to run out of money. Once I'm running out of money, if I have a runtime maximum at two, that means even if there's only one on the map, I can spawn a second one because I have the ability to, which is pretty cool. And one thing that's cool is when you spawn one, the runtime maximum actually goes up one above whatever one you had of that. So allowing you to spawn as many items as you pretty much want. See, I'm doing that right here. Now what's going to happen, if you notice, is I'm actually going to run out of money. Once you run out of money, normally you think, oh crap, I don't have the money to do all the items. There's a way to get around that. What you simply do is when that happens, you simply just save the map and the game and start it up. It will temporarily show you having all the money that you had it when you started that. But, let's save it. I love my money. See, we're going to start it, end it. Spin around some more. And now, as you notice, you know, when I started up, I'll have the 300 and some odd dollars. I'll go down there and change one of them to spawn, change it to runtime maximum to two. And, oh, I ran out of money again, so I'll save it, end it. 
and on some maps it has to be done more than uh, more than one or two times. Um, I just did one on go or yeah, Ghost Town today, and I didn't even have to do it once. So it all depends on the map. Saving, ending, boom, and shut it back up. As you can see, that process just goes on and on. You gotta do that for every item. So let me just do that. Do do do. -do. do the only ones you don't have to change the runtime maximum to two are the flamethrower and the filters reason being there's only one of them so you can't really change the uh, runtime maximum to two when you only have one to do as you can see I had to do this about three or four times there are some special rules when using the infinity money map to go with you in just a moment. Okay, and now I'm actually done. I'm going to show you some cool stuff. See how we have zero money? Hey, look at that. I spawned a fusion coil. Cool. Whatever. Oh, spawn another one. And another. And another. As you can see, there's no limit to how many I can spawn. There's a few major rules you want to know when making, when using Infinity Money Map. Number one is sometimes you can lose items and not get them back. There's two ways to lose items. One way is to delete the original. If you delete the original on the map, which you have hidden somewhere, or in some cases out in the open, if you delete the original, you will not be able to spawn that item again. That means if I were to, I don't know, I'll delete something original in a minute. That means I would not be able to spawn that item again. The other way is to hit a zero count. Once you hit a zero count, like I'm doing with all the vehicles, and you delete one of them, like we'll delete the. Um, I don't know. What am I? What did I delete? In? Oh, we'll delete some fusion coils. See, there's zero left, right? If I delete a few fusion coils, now there's one in the inventory, but I can't spawn it. Could I hit a zero count and delete it? Now I'll delete pretty much all of them right now. You'll notice, even though they're in my inventory, I, I don't have the ability to spawn them because I hit a zero count and then I deleted them. Another thing is, if you delete the original, like I'm about to with this man cannon, you notice I can no longer spawn a man cannon. So you never want to delete the original, or you never want to delete the one which you hit a zero count with. And same thing with the teleporters. You delete the original teleporters, you can't use them again. That's the only two downfalls of the money map. Another thing, if you put too many items in one area, um, mainly on Foundry you'll see this, it's all the colors and that just start twitching. But here, I'll show you a way you should really set up a money map. My way is very sloppy. This way uh, wasn't done by me. If I can read the names, I'll tell you it's done by... Um, no, I couldn't read the names. It was done by two people on Xbox Live. Um, I'll note them in the credits. But basically, what they did, they did what I was in the middle of doing before I found their version, is they stashed everything to the side. If you notice, to the far right and left of the cave, you'll see all the items. See, they're easily found and they're out of the way so they won't affect you when making your map also they took all a bunch of the equipment and all that and shoved it in this hole right here they added a few too many actual energy doors you didn't need all of them on there you seen the one or two extra lying around but hey it's their map so they can do whatever they want um, one area that they had with their map if anyone has this map and has experiences where you can't spawn a single single box open or single box closed is they didn't set the single box time the single box limit to two they had it set at one not allowing you to spawn it so that's a way to fix that if you happen to have this version and just change it to two and then it's all good oh.
Oh, oh.